We're outside Congressman Morgan McGarvey's office here in Washington, D.C. We have with him the man himself. It's his first day on the job here at Tuesday, January 3rd. We want to get a little tour from you. So if you can take us in. I know things aren't all the way ready. They're not even close to ready. We just got the key this morning. Let's go and see what we got to, we got to do. All right, let's see. Of course, you, you, you can't have a Kentucky officer who wants to office without a little bourbon in here first. So definitely want to make sure we've got some bourbon coming up here, um, some pictures of the family that, that we brought up, hopefully some, some new pictures. Um, and then, you know, we still have a lot to bring up, but we want to get some stuff here so people can see you know, a little bit about who we are and where we're from. Definitely. And there's a lot to see in here as well. Frank, yeah. we're gonna, our photographer here, he's going to show us uh, some backwards walking, like a little tour guide. I know you guys are going to do some informal things for some folks this morning. Um, but the piece de la resistance, as they say, the main office. The main office. This yeah. is where you'll be doing a lot of work, some important work as you uh, start your role here in our nation's capital. Yeah. And so, you know, the most important thing is probably the computer and the chair, right? Uh, <laughs> but then you do want to decorate it and bring a little bit of yourself here and when people come in so they you know about you, know about the district. So certainly we'll have some more bourbon here probably. Um, and then, you know, we've got the little slugger baseball bats which are coming in, um, some things from home. Uh, you know, kind of some of the funny stuff is some of my friends got me this. Oh boy. Um, because it said you, you, it doesn't look like you're important unless you have a red phone on your desk. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to put some fun stuff in here, have a little sense of humor with it all. But, you know, be serious and have some fun. Go ahead and place it for us. Next yeah, to the, so some we'll decorative put, red okay, phones. You know, all the stuff that's already on the desk. Yeah, we'll, here, we'll, put it, we'll put it here next to the actual phone so people can think it's the top secret. I love it. Uh, yeah. And so. some of these bats were from your time in Kentucky. I know yeah. some of them. We wanted to take a look at what you've got. I know it's yeah. not every day everybody gets to see what kind of things so, you keep around. No, yeah, we get, you know. The nice thing is, if you live in Louisville, you've probably gotten a, a Louisville Slugger bat at some point. So, um, you know, excited to, to bring that up here. He's not messing around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> show, show people that we're, we're excited. Um, yeah, excited to be here, be from Louisville. Absolutely. And of course, you know, one of the things that people don't get to see every day, this is the place where it happens. This is going to be something that you come into and becomes a little bit of your home yeah. in Washington, D.C. Yeah. When you think about the transition from state government to national government, why is it important to just make this as seamless as possible? Well, I mean, the work we do is ultimately the same. We are in the business of solving problems. We're in the business of helping people. We're in the business of really looking out for the future uh, of our people, of our country. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to be doing it on a little bigger scale. We pass laws up here, they impact everybody in America, whereas the Kentucky General Assembly is just the people of Kentucky. Um, but we'll still do that same type of work. We'll still partner with the state leaders. We'll partner with the state legis legislative leaders. We'll partner with the governor to make sure we're doing things for Kentucky. And of course, you said you got your official pin this morning. I got the official pin this morning. That's right, yeah. So I went and picked it up at 9 o'clock this morning. Um, and, and then it came here to see you guys. And you can see we have a lot of work to do to get in the office set up. But we'll get there. WDRB first interview in his office. So a little piece of history. You get to do your local news yeah. on your first day. It's awesome. Well, we all know that there is going to be some interesting things going on with the House Speaker first before the official swearing in. but. Congressman Yarmouth is former now. You are congressman for the Louisville area, for Jefferson County. What is your last kind of final thoughts you can leave with us as you embark on this next journey? I'm so excited. I mean, I'm so excited to continue the legislative work I've been doing to, to get to work for everybody in Louisville, um, for everybody in Kentucky, for everybody in this country, uh, to push the ball forward a little bit, to be future focused, uh, and just to you know understand that I have an opportunity as the steward of this office for at least a couple of years to make a difference. I love it. Well, if you want to see more about Morgan McGarvey's plans for priorities, uh, for some things, uh, part of the interviews we've been doing throughout this process, you can head to WDRB.com and our WDRB Now app. From Washington, D.C., I'm Monica Harkins.